Hi, I'm Ryan Nickel, CTO at DSA Ocean, and today I want to talk to you about Shipmo 3D and give you an overview of what it is and what it can do. Shipmo 3D is a ship motion analysis program. It provides information on sea keeping and maneuvering performance of different ship models. It can calculate the hydrodynamics and export them in certain formats uh, for post processing or use elsewhere. So very generally, uh, Shipmo 3D is a, actually a collection of applications, each which do some kind of processing or pre-computation that's then used in later stages of the analysis process. And you can see uh, on the project pane, we have a lot of basic ship information, like length between perpendiculars and so on, and then a number of application data files. Um, the most commonly used ones are panel lid, a panel hull, a panel lid, rad, diff, build ship, and Freemo, SeaKeep Regular, and SeaKeep Random. So just really quickly, we'll go through a few of them and get an idea of what they do. Panel Hall is usually the first starting point, and this is where you put in the, the information and geometry for the hull form itself. There's a couple ways to do this. You can provide hull lines in a patch file, uh, or you can provide the mesh directly in an OBJ file format that's produced uh, elsewhere. This is, uh, gives you an opportunity to plot what the hull looks like, and in this view you can see with this color, uh, color format, ship parts, you can see the yellow portion is the wet hull, uh, and of course that'll change depending on the draft settings and trim settings you have for the ship, and the dry hull portions in green. I note there's some automatic mesh refinement along the waterline, which will happen regardless if you put in hull lines or the OBJ, OBJ mesh file format. Uh, note also, uh, you can plot the hull lines uh, in uh, uh, panel hull, and that's kind of good to give you some feedback on based on how you've set up the hull lines in, in the format, if you choose to set up the ship model this way. The other application, uh, the next one after this is panel lid. Uh, this is primarily for generating a lid, uh, a numerical lid for helping suppress irregular frequencies that can sometimes show up uh, depending on the, the nature of the model that you're working with. And just showing a, a sample of this uh, lid, uh, it, it, plot, it generates them pretty well automatically that along the interior water line of the vessel. Rad diff is uh, the most computationally intensive application in the program. Uh, and this is for calculating the radiation and diffraction uh, effects for the hull. The reason for the computational intensity is just because of the number of load cases involved. So there's a lot of ship motion uh, cases it needs to look at where it's, it's moving the, the hull around in the water and evaluating radiation effects. And then, of course, the, the combination of forward speeds and relative sea directions for calculating all the diffraction cases is a pre-computation. So usually, as long as the hull form is not changing, it, it's often a one-time uh, process and then changing the ship model through appendages uh, doesn't require recalculation of this. But there's lots of good plotting here as well to show what the frequency dependent added mass and damping look like and how well conditioned they are. And it get, it's good at getting feedback on if you need to refine your mesh uh, or not. Build chip is the next application. This is where we uh, use the database of radiation and diffraction values and then complete the numerical ship model by adding properties like um, the resistance values and the inertia properties and then a lot of appendage models like bilge keels and skags and propellers and things like that. Um, once that's uh, all assembled, you can actually plot what the ship model looks like um, in build ship. And then this, this is really great visual feedback and making sure you've set up the bilge keels correctly and, and everything looks good. Once the ship model is actually set up correctly, now is the time for actually evaluating the, the motion response, sea keeping and maneuvering. Usually the first place to go uh, to begin with is sea keep regular. Sea keep regular is for evaluating the ship motion response in regular waves or, or otherwise sinusoidal waves. You can add uh, sea keeping positions. These are just like virtual instruments at any point on the ship to get feedback on the motion at that point. And of course, the response amplitude operators are the result of this calculation. And you see, uh, an, you get an idea of what the ship motion response, sort of the dynamic fingerprint of what it's going to look like in different kind of conditions, in different forward speeds, 
and then different relative C directions. Of course, we've got a nice peak here in the roll RAO that you would sort of expect to see with a ship like this. C keep random is the, another application for resolving ship motion response in an irregular C state. So this means like a, a spectrum uh, potentially with spreading and um, uh, and, and a, wa a wave spectrum to get an idea of what the, the motion response is like at, outside of regular waves. There's a number of outputs that are that you can look at here, but for one example is the RMS mo motion plots, which show you how the ship motion uh, changes and characteristics change with the relative sea direction in an irregular sea state. When you want to check out what's happening with maneuvering calculations, that's when the Freemo application comes in. And in here, uh, this is all time domain calculations. So what happens here is you can provide in under maneuver inputs uh, sequences of commands at different stages in time for setting propeller, for setting rudder angles, and, and so forth. And there's lots of inf interesting inf inputs you can get uh, and outputs you can get for, for detailed information, and uh, including plotting trajectories and so on. So uh, there's, there's lots of details in many of these applications. There's more that we didn't cover, but this just generally gives you an overview of the kinds of things that you can do with Shipmo 3D. Thanks for watching.